Okay, good luck trying to use the Nissan J2534 reprogramming software. Um, we read the instructions and we have downloaded Okay, we're going to go to the Nissan Publications, and we have a file, 3100EA10C, Original ECU File Data, and we found that by going here, Auto Transmission and Transactional, Automatic Transmission with Transfer Program Data, and it's 31000EA10C, and that doesn't seem to work so now we've gone here we have a battery charger on this we have our AVDI pass-through hooked up we're going to try and program transmission now we've installed this on We've installed this on a Windows 10 machine. We've installed it on a Windows 7 machine. And Nissan is doing a pretty good job of trying to make sure that nobody but their own techs can program these. They have made it so indecipherable, nobody is able to do these. Okay, no part number retrieved from the ECU. Which is going to be true because it's a blank ECU from Nissan. So now it'll give you a list of part numbers. We don't want AT30. We want a four-wheel drive. So if we come down here, we've got 31020. 9B A0, 9B A, and we're trying to find that EA. But I mean, no matter what we try, it always errors out. Now, the one that we took out was a 31040-9CX10. So, so let's see, 9X, 9CX10. And you will not be able to find it no matter what you do. Nine b I mean, we've tried every one of these. It doesn't matter, you know, part number 3100, 9CA, 9B. It doesn't matter what you do, you will never be able to find the one that fits in this car. And if you do, you'll still not be able to program it. So it kind of makes you mad. I mean, Nissan charges you 270 bucks for a year long, the ability to be able to do this. There's no tech support. There's no way to check to see if you're doing anything right. And they do not send you anything. I mean, there is nothing. So trying to do this is just a lesson in futility. I mean, this is just ridiculous. If you've ever done GMs, you know how easy they are. You just hook it up, check it out, send it off.
what gets me is, is when you look at this, they're all two-wheel drives. Okay, so we selected our part number. We actually selected this, 3100EA10C. And now we're going to see how it does. Not holding a lot of hope, but... I guess we'll see. We'll see if it errors out again. It's kind of amazing the amount of files you have to go through just to find it. The 3100 EAC10 was way down towards the bottom. So it took us about 25-30 minutes to actually pull that up. Let's see if it system error click end well looks like it knows what it's doing but I can't figure out why it's not doing it so let's go through the instructions again I know that on this we had to put everything in the reprogramming data and that's what we did um, then the other data was supposed to go into the D tool PDX package repro nope supposed to go into the external files config 107 and it's in there but these other two were already in there so we didn't mess with them I guess we'll have to try okay so now we have found, if we look on the Nissan site, we have found 31000EA10C. That is supposed to be for year range 1-2005 to 9-2005. And that is the one we're supposed to have. So when we click on that, we've got it here, 3100EA10C. When we click Next we've got the car on and we are trying to talk to it let's see what it does making a video hmm? making a video so I can post it on the internet and show how screwed up Nissan is Okay, so right now, the current part number, the new part number, and our battery voltage is good. So now we're going to click Start, System Error. So you tell me, why is this erroring out? 